softball, then you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show. We're bringing you more interviews, more videos, and more product reviews than anyone else on the planet. Sit back and get ready. Here's the Fast Pitch TV show. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fast Pitch TV show. Now, if you found our show on Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, or any other video sharing site, please check out our website, www.fastpitch.tv. It's the place to find all of our video channels, including this one, which at the moment, there are seven of them. That's right, we have seven different channels of softball videos on our network at fastpitch.tv. And that's not even including all the blogs, so there's a lot of information over there. Now this week I'd like to welcome another new sponsor to Fast Pitch TV. This week we add Markwork Sports to our network. Please give them a big welcome by visiting their website at www.markwork.com. They have sporting goods for your sporting life. I mean, they have tons of sporting goods for all sports. So check them out. I think you're going to like. We even buy stuff from them. Thanks, Mark Work, for your involvement with Fast Pitch TV. Now, last year I was in Las Vegas for the NFCA convention. In case you're not familiar with that, that means you probably don't watch this show if you're not familiar with it. NFCA stands for the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association. It's a great convention they had, held by a great association. I go every year. I wouldn't miss it, and you should too. Now, you should visit their website if you never have before, nfca.org. Now, while I was at the convention, I ran into former Olympian Natasha Watley, who I love. She's a great lady. She was kind enough to take a few minutes for an interview, and I'll show you the interview right after this word from our sponsor. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham! You just put a cool $30 in your pocket. Well, Natasha, thank you for joining me. We've uh, in, uh, done this once before, but I think you were my second interview I ever did back on maybe episode 30 or <laughs> <All> something. <right. laughs> so I appreciate you taking the time to come back. Thank you for having me. So uh, tell me a little bit about I want to go back to your youth. You're starting playing softball. How old were you when you started? And tell us a little bit about your, uh, your beginnings in softball. Um, I started playing when I was five, and it, what happened, I actually brought home a flyer to my parents and said, sign me up. Um, my parents had no idea what softball was. My dad's a huge basketball fan. My mom's just happy to be here. <laughs> and they, um, Not sports fanatics at all. My mom's not a sports fanatic and just brought home a softball flyer and said, sign me up. And so uh, was it t-ball or coach pitch mm -hmm. or regular? Just rec ball. I, I started off with t-ball and just played bobby socks for a little bit and then went to like coach's pitch. Uh, where my dad was one of my coaches and um, just went on from there. And so then let's go up to your high school career. Moved in the, you played uh, ball and then you went to high school. What was your high school? Tell us a little bit about your high school experience. My high school experience, I went to Woodbridge High School out of Irvine. And um, obviously South Orange County is obviously a hotbed for softball. So we, I jumped right in and um, we were competitive. I mean, we were high competitors. Um, I ended up winning CIF my sophomore year and um, pretty good pretty good high school team we had there. Yeah, yeah it sounds like it. Mm -hmm. you won. And in college, tell us a little bit about your college, college. I ended up going to UCLA, which was right down the street, um, and uh, always was a lifelong dream for me to go to UCLA. Um, growing up, my dad would take me to UCLA games, being it be so near to where I grew up, and just was a dream for me to be there, and um, probably where I grew the most as a, a person and as a softball player is my time in college. So did you play under Coach Inquist? I played under Coach Inquist all four years, recruited and played by played with her. So how was that playing for uh, Sue? <clears throat> Amazing. Um, she's obviously um, probably one of the, the biggest influences in, in my life, and she's been my mentor post-college. Um, she's always a phone call away. Um, I probably have learned so many le life lessons, softball lessons from her, and I probably attribute you know, most of my career to her. I saw her speak about three weeks ago for the first time I'd ever seen her yeah. completely speak, and she is so strong yeah, up there. she is strong, and she speaks with such conviction and like, everything that she says. I mean, when I played for her, I felt like I could walk on water, and she just is able to exude like, so much confidence in herself and to other people, and I think that's what makes her so great is that she's able to really be, she's a truly a great motivator. Like, she really makes you feel like you can do anything. And then uh, after college, 
we made it what I call to the top of the pyramid. You made it to uh, someplace not many people have been. Uh, you made it to the Olympic team and played in the Olympics. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, amazing. Um, I mean, I played in 04 and 08. And I mean, if you asked me when I was 10, 11, yes, being in the Olympics is something that I dreamed about. And to actually be there and get there, probably one of the most surreal moments of my life playing in an 04, being on the medal stand, playing in an 08, just pl representing your country, I think there's just so much that goes behind it that I think we all have dreamed about as young kids and then as it actually happens, um, surreal. Um, and I'll probably never forget those moments. What would you say out of your career, is there anything that stands out as uh, your most memorable softball moment? Gosh, I've had. I know you've had so many. I've yeah, had a lot of. I've had a lot of moments, and what the amazing part about it is that I just I keep getting moments, and I'm still currently playing. I'm playing over in Japan right now, and like the moments don't stop. So it's hard for me to like sit and pick out mom one moment that surpasses all. I have many. I could tell you many moments. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard question. I know yeah, it is. Yeah, I know it is. So you're playing in Japan. You're also playing pro here in the U.S. Right for the USSSA Pride. Right. Tell us a little bit about your pro career. Um, my pro career, um, playing with the USSSA Pride in Florida. So I play there during the summer months and then playing with Japan in the spring and, and in the fall. So I'm like an MLB player. I'm playing a full nine month season. Um, so I don't, I only have three months off. Um, and I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world. And again, like I would never think that I'd still be playing, but um, uh, USSSA, um, it's been I've been so blessed to be part of that family and, and be part of that team and um, I'm just excited to see um, fast pitch grow at that, that level at the pro level and you're sponsored by which we're at your booth that's why we got this big uh, big Natasha yes, behind us right. you're sponsored by Mizuno Sports yes. and they've been your sponsor I guess from the beginning yes from the beginning the moment I walked out of college I walked right into Mizuno family and they've opened me with open arms the day I, I walked in and um, I haven't left yet and I, I, I love my relationship with Mizuno and and how we've grown um, from when I first stepped out of college until now, it's it's amazing to see how much we've grown um, with Mizuno. It's just with everything from cleats to gloves to bats, everything all around has just grown so much, and it's been so uh, like fulfilling to be a part of that. So you've had a really a pretty exciting life, I would say, <laughs> up till now, wouldn't you? I would say I have. I would say I have. I've been very, very blessed. Yeah, that's really pretty cool <laughs> that uh, you've been able to do all those things. And I was talking to Jenny earlier. I was going. I remember ten years ago. When my daughter played at 14, we were hunting for cleats in the fall. We had to get football cleats because right. there were no softball there cleats on the shelf. Cleats. It wasn't softball season. They had to get the football cleats. And now, uh, not only you, but this sport has just yes, grown into so definitely. much. Yes, the same. I, I can remember buying football cleats and um, having to buy boy-specific cleats. There was never anything that was specifically geared for female. So I think that's we, we've come a long way. So is there any uh, piece of advice or anything you could give to these young kids who they are like, that's their dream to be where you're at today? Yeah, I think just play for the love of the game. I think that's, you know, you always have your dreams, but remember each day just to have fun. And I think that's one of the things that I, I try to every single day is just having fun. I mean, I'm with my best friends. I'm with people. I'm, I'm surrounded by people that, you know, I, I truly want to be around and I, I you know, they, they make me better and I want to help make them better. And just having fun. I think just having fun. If you're having fun, you'll, you'll be surprised where you're going to go. Okay, one more thing before we end it. I understand your Japanese has gotten kind of good from living over in Japan. Ah, <laughs> uh, choto, uh -huh. choto. Okay, so here, here's my request. Can you, I'd like to hear you say, Watch the fast pitch TV show in Japanese. Mm, can you, is that a hard one for you to say, or can we give it a shot? Uh, I'm putting pressure on you here. I know. Fast pitch TV. Oh, mimashita. <laughs> that, that might be past tense, though. <laughs> well, that's good enough. That's close enough for me. Saying fast pitch TV, you watch. So, so fast pitch TV is still fast <laughs> pitch TV. Oh, okay. Yeah, so fast just, pitch TV. Oh, mimashita. <laughs> thanks a lot, and I appreciate you taking the time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks. thanks. And have a good day. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the interview. Now, if you want to see Natasha's bio just to learn a little bit about her, go to our website, 
usafastpitch.com. Now, usafastpitch.com is a website I created to show you every USA Softball Olympian's bio. I got tired of hunting for them all over the internet, so I made one website that has every Olympian that played softball's bio on it. Now it's time for something we do every week. It's time for the Win Some Softball Stuff contest. And this week, we're having the second week of our contest for a 2012 Frenzy 4.0 Fast Pitch Bat by Mizuno Sport. You can visit their website at MizunoUSA.com. Now let's watch as Amanda tells you how to enter the contest. The Win Some Softball Stuff competition And all you softball fans better listen Since you're listening to the show You should comment on this video The Win Some Softball Stuff competition I'm here to explain how to enter the contest. First, become a fan of the Fast Pitch TV show on Facebook. Simply go to facebook.com slash fastpitchtv and become a fan of the show. Second, go to your Facebook page and post, I'm trying to win a contest at www.fastpitch.tv. Step three, go to our website at www.fastpitch.tv, find this episode of the Fast Pitch TV show and leave a comment. You can say, I love the show, or I want to win the contest, or whatever you want. Then Gary will choose a winner from all of the entries. That's it. That's the three steps to enter the Win Some Softball Stuff contest. The Win Some Softball Stuff competition. And all you softball fans better listen. Since you're listening to the show, you should comment on this video. The Win Some Softball Stuff competition. Now, the contest will end on show 193. So, enter the Win Some Softball Stuff contest if you want to win a great Frenzy 4.0 bat from Mizuno. Now, if you have <laughs> okay. Now, if you have an iPhone, an iPad, or an Android phone, you need to get the Fast Peach TV Show app today. Just go to your phone's app store, search softball, and you'll find it. Like I said, don't forget to check out all of our softball channels at our website, fastpitch.tv. Well, that's it for today. Goodbye, and thanks for watching. Fast Pitch TV Network.